250 fish. Get a thousand here. You can see we get a thousand and start to drop down in terms of frame rate a little bit on this particular machine. But a thousand fish flying around. This is entirely impossible thanks to the gift of how JavaScript and GPU power power graphics. Um, doing something like this on the on the CPU, you'd be sitting at one or two fish, of course. And of course you can create very interactive experiences. Another HTML5 canvas demo. Uh, is Astro Belt. Uh, and you can see that I can move, move my mouse around, and the image is contracting, uh, again, using that same 2D drawn surface. You can see it very different from the websites that you, you experience today. Uh, programming model. SVG is a retained mode um, vector graphics system. I know many of you experience with, with SVG today, uh, but we fully hardware accelerated SVG. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of dice to my SVG guy. We'll go to six, and I'll go ahead and click roll. And you can see that my dice roll around on the screen. And each of these die is an individual SVG file that has about a thousand elements in it that's now part of the DOM and is being displayed to the screen. Again, a great example of full hardware acceleration. That SVG file is actually being passed down to the GPU as uh, kind of going through direct access, direct export. We'll see how this performs on my dual monitor screen here. So what this does, it, it takes a color wheel, and it sees how fast it can start spinning that color wheel. And of course, once you get up to 60 frames a second, at full speed, the color starts to kind of blend together. And then we slow down the color wheel. It's a really fun demo because it also shows that we're really not using the CPU, we're not using really the GPU. In this demo here, uh, on most machines we use about 10% of the CPU, and of course we're maybe using 3 to 5% of the, of the GPU. This is a fun demo that really shows the difference between fully hardware accelerated graphics and partially hardware accelerated graphics. Uh, and what I have here is I have Firefox 4, beta 6, um, which is the kind of the fully hardware accelerated version of, of Firefox, the latest. And I'll go ahead and run speed reading here. Speed reading, oh, no, I'll actually turn it. The audio here. Uh, if you've seen kind of the train board, you know, train schedules, the footboard drop in train stations, and how long the average draw takes. So you can see the average draw takes about 50 milliseconds here. I won't, uh, I won't force you guys to sit through this, but this same demo takes about 13 minutes, about 13 and a half inside the Again, this is very hard work to make. Let's look at this demo inside my mind. Okay, you ready? So you'll notice a few differences. You'll notice along the bottom, Total billboard draws is moving much more quickly, and that our average draws is much lower. Let's start with this. <laughs> There's just one thing that's a lot that I was waiting for. Uh, again, the, the same demo inside IE9 uh, takes about 14 seconds, um, probably about 14 minutes, about 11 on this machine. 